Good morning from Parma. So yesterday was a very hungover day for me. So um, I didn't really pick up the camera very much. Already I love the city. It's just really chill vibes. Like it's not too busy, not too full of tourists, which is exactly the kind of traveling that I like. I've come to Parma with Tom who I met in Bologna. And so we traveled here together. We've just stopped at a cafe and I've got a Parma croissant. So we had the Parma ham from Parma yesterday for the first time and it was so nice. It just tastes so different. We're gonna actually try and eat dinner like the Italians tonight because usually I'm starving by six o'clock but the Italians don't really tend to eat until about like 9 p.m. There's quite a lot to see here. There's quite a few churches and things like that. So we're gonna explore. I think there's definitely gonna need to be a gelato to stop at some point today because it is so warm. I think um, it's getting to the point now where we're getting closer to the 40 degrees being a normal temperature, which for all you British people, you'll get it. It's way too hot. So um, yeah, I'm gonna dig in and enjoy this now. This is just like a really nice silent city. Um, it's really, really pretty. It's almost like you feel a bit bad for talking loud because there's no people. But it is really, really beautiful. So I'd recommend just stopping over here. So I'd say really it's a day trip. So you just stay here overnight um, because there's not an abundance of things to see. So we're now just gonna head to like a traditional like meat and cheese shop and grab some lunch. We'll grab a little picnic and then we're gonna take it to one of the large parks here and just like go and chill in the park and stuff. Um, the park here looks really, really beautiful. So I'm hoping given that we've had really hot weather, it's still quite pretty because a lot of the parks that I've been in in Italy have been really, really dry. Fingers crossed, but that's the plan. So we went to a place where they sell like ham and cheeses. So we got some salami, some parmesan, some burrata, because Tom's never tried burrata, and I mean, who's never tried burrata? Um, we've also got some parma ham, because obviously we went in parma. And then we also got these like little pancake things that they always have as like the appetizers here. And so it's basically their sandwiches um, that they have. And yeah, so we've got these little bits and bobs and we're gonna tuck in now and enjoy this lunch at the park. So we've just finished having lunch, which was really, really good. So what I do recommend is actually buying um, like Parma ham and stuff like that from like a little like, I don't know what they're called, like the equivalent to a butcher's um, because they just do it so well here. Obviously it's Parma ham in Parma. So, I mean, that gives it away, but it's just really, really delicious and it just tastes completely different to what the Parma ham tastes like in England. It's just got loads of flavour. I have also bought a fan, which is possibly the best thing you could possibly do in Italy uh, because it is so humid here. So like, for example, in Florence at the moment, say it's like 36 degrees, which is already so hot. The feels like on Apple's like temperature, Apple weather, is like, feels like 43 and it's like, oh it's unbearable but yeah so as soon as you get in the sun here it is like so hot um and also like all the shops are shut in the middle of the day i think it's just because it's the hottest part of the day but it's impossible to get cold water or a cold drink or anything unless you're going to sit down in somewhere so when we're walking to have a picnic in the park 
we really struggle to get any drinks. We're just gonna have a little wander around, see some of the stuff that was closed when we went earlier because it was like the closing hours in the middle of the day. Um, and then we're probably gonna go back, um, get showered and stuff like that before we go out for dinner. Um, I don't know where we're gonna go for dinner, but probably somewhere nice. Um, we went to a really nice place last night um, and it was really delicious. So that's the plan for this evening. went out for dinner and oh my god it was super delicious i had a carbonara woke up this morning checked out uh, packed everything up and come for i wouldn't really say this is breakfast it's a lunch at this point we just came to this place and they've got a meal deal on for one drink which i got a fanta and then one coffee and a main dish for 12 euros and honestly, there's actually loads of options. So I've gone for the Capricosa pizza. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping that'll kind of fill me up. Tom is also coming to Lake Garda. So we are looking at options on how to actually get there. So um, I came to Palma thinking, well, actually it's between Bologna and Lake Garda. So surely it would be like, it'll be a quicker way to get there actually matter of fact is that in a car it takes one hour 30 yeah so it is a lot closer public transport it's not so easy so there's like a few different options there's that we can go to milan and then from milan to like garda on train or we can get a bus to like this just random town and then get a train or you can get three buses which means we have to go back to bologna to then go back up so um yeah we're just going to work out what the best option is but yeah i'm really looking forward to getting to lake garda um because it's getting to the point where it's unbearably hot in this country so it'll be good to have a bit of water to go and take a dip in so we're going to just dig into our lunch now and then we'll probably head to the station um it's my sister's birthday today which is really exciting um so i need to facetime her as well at some point today this pizza is the biggest pizza i think i've had so far in italy it's falling off the table, it's that big. But it looks delicious. Now in H&M, trying to find Tom some swimming shorts because some idiot decided not to pack swimming shorts on a holiday to Italy. We've been on a tour of about seven different floors of this H&M and still can't find the menswear, but <laughs> we just found it. So we're probably gonna miss our train now just because it took us so long to find the right floor of the shop. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to get the train to Milan and then from Milan to Garda. That's the new plan. But first we have to buy some swimming shorts. To Lake Garda so we've just got off the train we had to really quickly run for a bus because it was 13 minutes away and we had 11 minutes to do it as we saw the bus stop we saw the bus pull up so we started running for it with our backpacks on and it's so hot and basically the bus literally drove away as soon as we got to the door so of course when in Rome or very close to Rome, you buy a beer when shit goes wrong. So um, that's what we're doing. We are literally having a beer, some water because we're dehydrated as hell and life is good. We may have missed a bus, but there's another one in 25 minutes and I'm looking at a beautiful view. Cheers. Good morning. 
morning and it's day two here at Lake Garda. So yesterday it was pretty late so we just went out for dinner and I had truffle pasta which was delicious because I had food envy the other day when somebody had truffle pasta. Uh, so I've woken up this morning, can't lie I didn't have the best night's sleep so it's been a very lazy start to the morning today. It's about midday now so I've just finished getting ready, I'm gonna head to Ceremony, uh, I put the name here because I'm not very good at pronunciation. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head there. So I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro because I don't really wanna leave my camera on the beach. So in three, two, one, switch into GoPro. So we were just waiting for a bus and the bus didn't show basically. So we decided, right, sack that off. We're too hot, so we're gonna go in the water. So I've just dipped in the water, I can't lie, I was a little bit anxious about it because it's not very clear water <laughs> and there's a lot of grass on the floor and there's just something, I don't really like grass touching me toes but I've got my Burks on so at least I'm not barefoot and it's actually really really nice here and the view is, I mean, you can't you can't knock the view if I'm being completely honest with you I think this is the most beautiful place I've ever swam so Today has been a little bit of a fail so we waited for the bus, the bus never came. So we decided to go and check out this other beach whilst we waited for another bus. So we check out, ch yeah, checked out the beach and then went for lunch. And then we headed to the bus stop to get another bus. And surprise, surprise, the bus didn't turn up again. I've hit a wall because I've just eaten a massive, massive pizza at the beach that we're at. So I've decided that I'm gonna come back to the room and I'm gonna have a nap and then I'm gonna wake up and then hopefully when the sun starts to go down a little bit, it'll be a little bit cooler um, and I'll get ready and then um, like go out for dinner and drinks and stuff like that. <laughs> So I woke up after my nap, got ready and had an absolute pearl lava trying to find a taxi to get me to um, like basically the main strip here in Garda. Well, it took us about 55 minutes to order a taxi. Um, even the people in the hotel, they didn't really speak very good English. So we really struggled to get here because the buses stop at 8 p.m. Um, honestly, after 8 p.m. there is no other way unless you've got a car um, and taxis are quite difficult when you're not staying in the city centre. I guess when you're in the city centre you can just holler a cab or go to the taxi rank or whatever but when you're staying outside it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, but we're here now and can't lie the taxi was pretty expensive. It was an eight minute drive and it's cost us 20 euro but I guess that's what you pay when you're in a place a destination like this. Um, we've come to the town centre and it seems really really like buzzing but we've just come down the harbour dock now to have a look at the views because the sun's setting and it's golden hour and honestly it's so 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 beautiful so I think we're gonna go for a drink first and then we'll probably look for somewhere to eat Good morning, good morning. Again, here from beautiful Lake Garda. So it's day three here. Day three here? Day two or day three here at Lake Garda. And just about to head to Ceremon. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this time a bus will actually show um, so that we can actually go and see it. Uh, the day is set up to be another absolute scorcher today. Um, I think it's gonna be like 39, feels like 43. So I'm trying my hardest. I've got my linen shirt on to try and save me from some sort of heat exhaustion uh, that I had yesterday. So let's head out and I'm going to move over to the GoPro and let's go and see what ceremony is all about. Okay, so we were feeling really positive because we decided to stick it out and wait at the bus station, at the bus stop. And what was it, like 25 minutes late? So after it was like 20 minutes late, we decided, we were starting to think, right, okay, we should leave, we should leave. 
Anyway, then the bus right, came. Shock horror. We got on the bus and it's dropped yeah. us off in the middle of nowhere and said, oh guys, you'll have to wait here for a shuttle. <laughs> we looked how far it is to walk to a ceremony and it's four kilometers or 50 minutes. And they've just dropped us off. There's loads of us, like that bus was absolutely packed, heaving. Um, so, Lake Garda, please sort your public transport situation out. It's taken us two days to get to the ceremony. <laughs> And it is literally an eight minute drive away from where we're staying. Ah, good old public transport. Latest update. 40 minutes later, I'm not sure it's 40 minutes later, but 35 minutes later, I think we're on the shuttle bus. However, I don't know, because we're not arrived yet, but there's literally so many people waiting to get on this bus, it's going to be packed. walking to the beach. We stopped for coffee. I'm feeling happy and it is so beautiful here. It's like full of really like pretty houses. It's full of like little trinket shops and fashion shops. So I've stopped in maybe like 10 or 15. <laughs> um, and you have to walk through this really beautiful park to get to the beaches. Um, and so far from what I've seen from the views, it looks really, really pretty. So I'm really excited to get to the beach and have a look because apparently it's 360 views, which is awesome. So we've just made it to Jamaica Beach. Woohoo! I mean, I can't lie, it's a bit of a walk. Um, so yeah, it's, I think it's going to be a struggle to get back up, but we walked past a little bar, so obviously when in Rome or near Rome, get yourself a beer. So um, yeah, we're just trying to find a little shady spot, which I feel like is gonna be quite difficult, but it's not as busy here as I thought it would be, considering how many people were on the bus this morning. Um, but the water here looks amazing in comparison to where we went the other day. So I think we're in for a treat today. Can't lie, I'm a bit excited. Time for lunch, we got a panini, which was six euro fifty. Uh, speck and cheese, whatever that is. Oh, with a gorgeous view. Yes, please. <laughs> We've just been for dinner after coming off the beach. Uh, we actually went for a few drinks first, <laughs> but don't tell anybody. And yeah, so went for a few drinks and then headed to a pizza restaurant for dinner. And I got a margarita pizza, which was delicious. And it was only €6.50, which is pretty good considering we are in prime territory by the looks of it. It looks like there's yeah, it's quite a market upscale here. Um, but it's absolutely stunning. So just been to have a look at the sunset, which is really, really beautiful. And it, 
overlooks the whole Lake Garda, which is really, really nice. And now just gonna try and grab a taxi. So the last bus here runs at eight o'clock and it's just gone eight. So we can no longer get a bus. So we're gonna try and find some sort of taxi, but there's not really many roads here. So we're not really sure how to get a taxi. Um, and to be honest with you, so far, public transport here has been very, very difficult. <laughs> so we might struggle a little bit, but I'm sure we'll find something. I reckon it'll be about 20 euros to get back. Um, if it's any different, I'll put it in here, how much it costs for us to get back. And then tonight is just going to be like a packing night. I'm leaving tomorrow to go to Venice. Um, and Venice is my last destination in Italy. So really looking forward to that. I think I might stop in Verona tomorrow on the way to Venice. But I've not made my mind up yet. It depends on how well I sleep tonight, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll make that decision tomorrow when I get there. So let's head home. Good morning, and it's the final day here in Lake Garda. So I am about to check out. I've just packed all my stuff and I will be heading out today. So first of all, I'm gonna head down for maybe some breakfast if they are so kind. So the last couple of days, they have actually been giving us breakfast way after breakfast time. Um, so that's good. So I'm hoping that they'll do the same again today. I think the plan is that I'm gonna try and get the bus all the way to Verona. I'm gonna try and put my bags in storage in Verona. And if I can, I'm gonna go and explore Verona for a couple of hours before heading to Venice. So I'm going to end this series here and I am going to start my Venice vlog which will be my last vlog here in Italy. I am flying out from Italy in three or four days. Um, I'm heading to Corfu to meet my mum to do Albania and yeah so please do tune in for the last episode of this Italy series. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Ciao!